In this Starship update, the booster catching arms are nearing installation, Ship 20 awaits its static fire test, and progress on Booster 5 and Ship 21 has accelerated. Hi everyone, I'm Ian Atkinson with NASA Spaceflight, here to give you an overview of SpaceX's Boca Chica facilities as of mid-October 2021. All of the following photos and videos were captured by NASA Spaceflight team members Mary and Nick Ann Sweeney, as well as our team of robotic cameras. This week saw some important ground support work take place. The booster catching arms, nicknamed Mechazilla by SpaceX, are undergoing final work before their installation on the orbital launch tower. These two arms will be used to catch returning super heavy boosters, eliminating the need for heavy landing legs on the booster itself. This is important because extra mass on the rocket means reduced payload capacity. The two arms, themselves nicknamed chopsticks, were installed onto the carriage, which will support them and move them up and down the tower. This complete assembly is currently residing on a temporary structure on the ground as crews perform the final work. The assembly will then be installed onto the launch tower in the near future. Mechazilla will also be used to stack starships and boosters onto the orbital launch mount. Since they can move up and down the tower, the arms will be used as a lifting device, eliminating the need to keep a separate crane on site. And just next door, the orbital tank farm is undergoing proof tests before its activation. On September 28th, venting was observed from one of the new tanks. These large tanks are essentially made of starship segments, allowing SpaceX to build their own tanks to their own specifications. In order to ensure that there are no leaks, and that the new tanks can withstand holding cryogenic propellants, they were filled with liquid nitrogen. Not all of the tanks are complete, so proof testing has been going one tank at a time. The completion and activation of the orbital tank farm will be one of the largest milestones in the construction of the orbital launch site. Once it's completed, Testing of Super Heavy Boosters can begin on the launch mount. Booster 4 is still awaiting completion of the launch site to begin its own test campaign. This booster will loft Ship 20 partway to orbit on the orbital flight test, likely scheduled for early next year. Over the past few weeks, several Raptor engines were removed from Booster 4. These engines were likely shipped back to SpaceX's test site in McGregor, Texas, where some other exciting activities are taking place, but more on that later. Speaking of Ship 20, it's currently stationed on suborbital Pad B, deep into its own test campaign. The vehicle completed its own cryogenic proof test back in September, and is nearing a static fire of its Raptor engines. A Raptor vacuum engine was installed onto Ship 20 on October 12th. Raptor vacuums are optimized for use in the vacuum of space, and are much more efficient than normal Raptor engines outside of the atmosphere. Ship 20 is the first Starship to feature these new engines. It's currently unknown whether Ship 20's static fire campaign will include just the sea level Raptors or firing the Raptor vacuums as well. The static fire test of Ship 20 may take place as soon as this week. At the production site, Work on Ship 21 and Booster 5 is picking up speed. Ship 21's nose cone resides inside tent number 3, with a sizable number of heat shield tiles attached. A tank section of the future ship was spotted inside the midbay, indicating that stacking should begin soon. Also, the common dome section for Ship 22 was seen outside, with tile attachment points already installed. Inside the high bay, the stacking of Booster 5 is well underway. Recently, the grid fins were installed onto the top half of the vehicle. Booster 5 is currently in two sections inside the high bay. Booster 5 and Ship 21 are currently expected to take flight for the second orbital flight test. On October 6th, a new booster thrust puck was delivered. This was different than previous ones, as it has mounting points for 13 Raptor engines, rather than the nine seen on previous boosters. These 13 inner engines, combined with the 20 outer engines, 
will mean that Super Heavy boosters will soon feature 33 Raptor engines total. That's more than any other rocket stage flown to date. Foundation work is progressing for the new wider high bay. This building will be similar to the existing high bay, but a little taller and much wider. This extra space will be used to process multiple Starships and Super Heavy boosters simultaneously. Finally, some major Starship-related work is taking place outside of Boca Chica. At SpaceX's test site in McGregor, Texas, work is well underway on a dedicated Raptor engine factory. This new, long building will produce Raptor 2 engines, a major upgrade to Raptor that is gearing up for prototype testing. In the future, Raptors will be assembled in this building, fired on the nearby test stands, and then shipped to Boca Chica for integration onto Starship and Super Heavy vehicles. And that's it for this video. If you'd like to support the channel, consider subscribing and becoming a channel member, with several cool perks available for our channel members. Thanks for watching, and have a great week.